what's going on guys before we get into today's video we're going to have a quick look at the planted tank as you can see it's still doing cracking the blue ram's doing great all the plants are growing nicely our african sickly blue nail male's still doing great all these fry are growing up and they're being sold to a fish store that we're actually going to visit in today's video so let's take a look and get into it and don't forget to hit that sub button if you haven't already in today's video we're back at pittsburgh pets but we're not getting a fish from him we're actually hooking him up with a fish from a local fish store that's a male OB peacock. If you don't follow Pittsburgh Pets on Instagram or YouTube, make sure you check it out. He's got lots of videos and he keeps discus, German blue rams, and he's got a pretty cool guppy breeding operation going. But as I just said, I've been getting on at Mitch for a while to do African cichlids. So today, after selling him some of my females that I'm no longer using, we're heading off to a local fish store to pick up an OB male for him. So let's go. So you've seen this store before on my page. This is actually Wet Pets and Friends in Pittsburgh, PA. And me and Mitch both actually used to work here. So we know this store pretty well. They've got a great selection, salt water, fresh water, but they've also got a pretty good African cichlid collection. As you can see there, there's some nice Taiwan reefs, some nice OBs, some nice sunshines, a nice German red, but we're here for one of the OBs. So after some careful consideration, we got one and took one back to the Pittsburgh Pets headquarters. And here he is. Before we added the male, we checked the temperature using this pretty nifty temperature gauge, the water's quality. We floated in for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then seeing as though the store is only about 10, 15 minutes away from where Mitch lives, we added him straight to the tank because we knew the water parameters would be very similar, if not identical. As you could tell by that initial reaction, he was pretty impressed with how he's looking and he's only going to get better as he gets more dominant in the tank. So for my job, I'm done. I persuaded him to get into African cichlids and I'm sure this will only be the beginning as he's a really, really cool fish. And I'm sure he'll get plenty of good fry from the group. Just as a precautionary measure, seeing as there's a new fish in the tank, Mitch thought it'd be good to add some general cure, which is a full cap per 20 gallons, that's a 20 gallon long, so so we'll treat the whole tank just to make sure they're all fighting fit and healthy, and then we covered the tank in a blanket to simply reduce aggression. So that's all for today's video, be sure to check out Mitch's page. If you like this video, hit subscribe, hit like, hit comment, it helps me out a lot, and we'll see you on the next one.